Hi everybody, this is Stevie McCarran Wigley again, riding um, the Off the Track Thoroughbred Reggie. This is part two of our flat work video. Um, here we are doing some canter work. Um, earlier we were really focusing on trotting and trying to get Reggie, who is a bit of a dull thoroughbred, um, marching a little bit at the trot, making him stay in front of my leg. So here we're doing um, cantering work, and um, just like at the trot, he wants to be a little bit dull to the leg, a little bit heavy, so I like introducing poles on the ground to be a little bit of the test. Um, definitely at this stage when I'm doing more flat work, even when I'm doing poles, I like to do simple changes to correct the horse's balance on the back side of the lines. I like to think long term and what is going to set this horse up the best for when it's time to do lead changes in the show ring and simple changes are definitely the thing that's going to teach him to land, be slow and balanced. You want them to land off the line and look back at the rider and think okay what now and if they're thinking more okay I know I'm supposed to slow down that's better so here I'm making him stay in front of my leg we didn't quite get to the pole there so as the rider I'm thinking to myself okay he wasn't really in front of my leg a little bit more rider error just again riding a green horse and knowing kind of what I have so my leg is very active no matter what I'm doing with him he wants to be a little bit heavy in my hand, which usually means that the horse is weak behind. Their, their weight falls onto their forehand because the hind end isn't strong enough to carry them. The hind end is the engine, so to speak. So I did a circle to make sure he's balanced. There you go, and just cantering nice and slow and collected, not working too much on anything too forward. Now I'm just trying to soften and let him go a little bit. Here I'm going to show you an attempt at a lead change. It's in slow motion. You'll see when we land, I'm going to kick. I kicked with my right leg and nothing happened. I kick one more time there and he didn't react he didn't quite understand what I asked so again no big deal I'm not gonna get after him too much for that he's still a green baby and so now we're changing direction going back to the left I find that this horse um, to the left is a little bit stiffer a little bit more crooked so I might spend more time tracking left here and I'm thinking, not worrying so much about that the fact that he's landing on the wrong lead. I don't, I, I don't really mind that at all. Um, if anything, I'm holding on to my right rein a little bit more so that he does stay straight. He wants to be heavier on my right rein, so I'm going to be working the right rein a lot more as as I pull. I'm also giving at the same. You know, I'm I'm taking and giving, keeping my elbow moving. And there he was heavy through the turn. He's starting to anticipate the pull a little bit and he's grabbing the bit and dragging me to it. So I just made a circle, did a little half halt. And now I'm a little bit stronger with my hand just to say, listen, you have to pay a little bit more attention to me. And it's not being mean. It's just being very clear with him on what I want. And so we're going to go around again. We're going to try this same line one more time and see if he stays light and stays at the same speed. You want one even rhythm. I don't, again, I don't care that he lands on the right lead. And then back to a trot and then forward at the canter again. When he pops up a little bit for that transition, that's, a, that's resistance to my leg. So I always like to send him forward even more to say, nope, you need to go forward here. And once we have done enough that I feel like we've accomplished something, then I like to end on a good note, giving him nice 
long and low with his head. 